Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. Now, if you've been following my channel and my vlogs, I thank you. And you will know that I recently purchased the DJI Pocket 2 because the GoPro Hero 10, which I did purchase, let me down immediately. So I sent it back immediately. And I did say that I would be tinkering about with the DJI Pocket 2 and letting you know what I thought of it uh, in future vlogs. Well, this is one of them vlogs. So I brought you to some woodland very close to the golf course. So we've got varying light. We're not recording on the uh, DJI Pocket 2 just yet. We're on the GoPro Hero 9. So it'll be an interesting sort of comparison. You might be interested in that. I am obviously. So let's have a look at the DJI Pocket 2. Is it any good for vlogging? So we are still on the GoPro Hero 9. I'll let you know when we transfer over to the DJI Pocket 2. We're just looking at the form factor. Comes in this nice little case and you can literally put that in your pocket. You really can just put that in your pocket. Now I bought the uh, Creator Combo um, package so I get the extra battery pack at the bottom and the uh, wireless microphone which we'll talk about a little bit later on and we'll try that so it's not going to be an in-depth uh, technical review of this we already know that this little thing is a fantastic camera it's more from a, a vlogger's point of view is it any good for vlogging so yeah I got the uh, combo which comes with this additional piece which is a battery pack and it gives you the wireless functionality for the uh, microphone and that just clicks on there. Then you've got a great uh, handle to hold the thing with. Now the little case uh, actually stores all your little adapters in there in the wide angle lens. I'm not gonna use the wide angle lens today because when I turned it on in the house, I think it will be wide enough. So uh, I, I do know that on the two, on the Pocket 2, they have made the lens wider. And then you've got the adapter for even wider. So uh, I'll put that in my pocket. Now this is the first time that I've been out with this uh, Pocket 2, so I don't know if it's going to be any good for me for vlogging. I've never vlogged with it before, and uh, let's, let's try it out. We're going to be trying out the wireless microphone as well. So I'm going to power up this little device and, um, and power up the microphone as well. So uh, the next take, we will be on the Pocket 2. We'll have a bit of a walk around the woods and uh, tell you a little bit more about it and uh, what I'm thinking about it as I go along. So this is it, we are on the uh, DJI Pocket 2 and vlogging just as I normally do, not trying to rhyme. Now uh, we are using the wireless microphone as well, hoping that that's just automatically connected up. I did see a, a little sign flash up on the tiny screen. It is a tiny screen. It's a little bit smaller than the, uh, than the GoPro, but it's very clear and uh, yeah, I can, I can see okay for, uh, for framing the shot. And I've got it on face tracking. Um, I like that, uh, that feature and I'm going to be uh, playing about with that a little bit more later on over there. I'm going to put it on a little stand and uh, test out the tracking. But So it's on face tracking, I'm just walking around in these woods and uh, like I said, first time vlogging for me with this camera. And uh, it's so tiny, you can hardly feel it. The weight, it weighs absolutely nothing. Well, of course it does weigh something, but uh, it is so lightweight. And I chose here because we've got some dappled light so the light is changing all the time uh, how's it coping the exposure changes compared to uh, what you normally see with the gopro so just playing about with it a little bit more i found that maybe the follow mode might be a little bit better than face tracking because the face tracking um it kind of puts you not in the uh, middle of the frame you might have seen that i was a little bit higher up uh this uh tracking uh, yeah you can sort of twist i can twist my uh, wrist and uh, yeah it's just a little bit easier to control it yeah i'm finding that a little bit better so the screen is really tiny but i've got to say it's very responsive and it's easy to navigate the menus even though the menu system is pretty simple as well because um i don't actually know the menu system and i've already managed to find out uh, where things are so the layout of the menu is quite simple uh, the stabilization stabilization is just what you'd expect from a dji uh, gimbal the masters of the drone so uh, yeah it's it's really stable now what do you think of the wireless microphone i think it sounds pretty good but i've only listened to it back through the speaker on the actual camera and that speaker's not bad at all it sounds pretty good so yes it has a speaker on it i was going to actually test out the internal microphones but it's quite windy today so how is it coping with the wind the wind's blowing directly into my chest now where the microphone is you can see that and uh, by the way i've connected it to my uh, my shirt using the uh, road um, mag clip 
uh, because it actually fits straight on it. So there's a little tip for you. You can use the mag clip with the DJI wireless microphone. So that's how I've got it on there. And it is windy today. So I'm thinking if I use the internal microphones of the DJI Pocket 2, uh, it'll probably just fail. We'll probably get a lot of wind noise. Now let's have a little look at this tracking feature. I can think of lots of, of reasons to keep this camera just for this feature. Uh, what it is, if I move around like this, it's face tracking me now and I can move around the camera and it will just follow me, which is a really, really good feature. And of course you can't get that with the GoPro because it's not on a gimbal. You could maybe get something like that with the 360 camera, but it won't, won't be as good as this, no way. So how far around can I go? Oh, it stops about there. Has it got me again? Yes, it's found me again. And I can go all the way around here. Oh, wow, wow, right round here, wow. So it doesn't go like, you can't keep going round, of course. It's a bit like a, an owl's head. It goes all the way around, but only once. <laughs> So that's the uh, tracking feature, it's pretty good that. So the DJI Pocket 2 ticks most of the boxes for a vlogging camera. We've got great stabilisation with the gimbal, we've got a forward facing screen, we've got good form factor, lightweight, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's most of the boxes really tick there. We've got a wireless microphone, so we've got great audio. So will this be my go-to vlogging camera from now? Will it beat the GoPro Hero 9? Well, the answer to that is no. And it only fails in two places for me. Uh, for most people, I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. I've seen some great vlogs, I've seen some great videos using this little camera. But for me, it fails on the ruggedness. It's not rugged in any way. That little gimbal spinning around on top is very fragile and it's not waterproof at all. I need it to be waterproof. I like to get out in all weathers. So that's where it fails for me. So I still will be using the GoPro, but this is a fantastic camera and I do think I'll be keeping it. I'm quite enjoying vlogging on this, um, but I do know that I can't take it out in the rain. And I feel that if I dropped it or I didn't put it away in my pocket right, I could quite easily damage that gimbal. So yeah, this is my little uh, look at the DJI Pocket 2. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I'm glad that you stuck with me until the end or of course I would have been all by myself. Let me know your thoughts on this topic, the DJI Pocket 2. I am looking forward to the DJI Action 2. That's coming out in a few weeks and that might be the one for me because that has the same form factor and the durability, uh, the ruggedness and uh, waterproofness <laughs> of the GoPros. So if that one uh, is a stable camera, no crashing, that could be the one for me. Let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. So that's it for this one. I don't know where I'll be next time, but I know I want you with me. So uh, until the next one, bye.